Hi, and welcome to our more comprehensive property show. My name is Nancy. When it comes to property, what matters most is location, location, location. Today, we visit a unique development in one of Nairobi's most sought after locations, Lavington Heights, offering luxury apartments. We also have highlights from the Kenya Association of Investment Groups Forum on the state of real estate in Kenya. You can't afford to miss that one. Look out for our regular advice segments on telecommunication solutions, as well as how to spruce up your space using decorative tiles from Euro Ceramics. There is something for everyone. When it comes to property, what matters most is location, location, location. Today, on our property pick of the week, we explore a unique project in one of Nairobi's most desirable locations, Lavington Heights. This luxury apartment balance between countryside living and the urban lifestyle. Hi, Joseph. Hi, Nancy. Welcome to Lavington Heights Apartments. When are they going to be completed? Uh, we are going to complete in the next two weeks. Uh, so we are expecting moving to be 1st of August. Yes. Nancy, Lovington Heights are breathtaking apartments. Yeah, we have uh, a mix of uh, three bedrooms uh, with the servant quarters. We have three bedrooms all in suit. We have two bedrooms all in suit. Then we also have duplexes. Oh. Yeah. That side is where you have duplexes? No, all the top floors are duplexes. This block A, we have four bedroom duplexes with guest wing. Then block B, we have four bedroom duplexes. And block C, we have three bedroom duplexes. And how much are they going for? Uh, two bedroom, we are selling for 14.8. Three bedroom without servant quarters, we are selling 17.5 million. Then three bedroom with guest wing, we are selling 22. Then uh, three bedroom duplexes, we are selling 25 million. And then 38 million for four bedroom with guest wing. So we provide four bedroom duplexes, three bedroom duplexes, four bedroom uh, apartments in servant quarters. We provide three bedroom uh, all in suit apartments and two bedrooms. So we have quite a number of features, like uh, when you come, we are very much concerned with security. You've just seen, we have a high perimeter wall with electric fence and razor wire. Yeah, we're also going to install CCTV all around, including the corridors here. Then we have intercom. Yeah, so any visitor coming in, we'll have to call from the security and talk to the house owner before they are allowed in. Nancy, this complex has a swimming pool and a fully fitted gym. When do you expect the first residents to move in and have you sold all of them? We've sold quite a number. We're only remaining with some few units, Nancy. Yeah, you see here, we know, we understand that customers of today are very discerning. Yeah, and we are not taking any corner. You can see by yourself, yeah, the quality of what they're offering. Yes. Good, let's go and see the apartment. Okay, welcome Nancy. So how many floors are there? We have seven floors. Yeah, we have basement apartments. We have the lower down floors and then the upper floors. So you have option to choose, either to use stairs. We also have high speed lifts. Yes, welcome, we see our lounge. We have a hardwood door, as you can see, with a peephole, so that householder can see a visitor before someone is allowed in. Then we have a very big lounge, the way you see. Yeah, with the gypsum ceiling with the lighters, you can see the way they're beautiful. Then expansive balconies, as you can see, from wall to wall, so that the house can have enough light. Each apartment provides a multi-plug. So this one, we have fiber optic internet provided by this one. Then there's internally installed. Yeah, gadget that provides Wi-Fi in each apartment. We also have CCTV and then Zuku TV. So from here, we move to our dining. This dining can take up to 12 seats. As you can see, each apartment has been installed with intercom uh, so that you can get a call from the gate and pick your visitor from there. Nancy, this is our balcony, a very expansive balcony. Our balcony so, is beautiful house. They are overlooking very beautiful houses. And there's something special about Lavington Heights Apartments. On the upper floors, you can see the panoramic view of Gong Hills, making it just breathtaking. You can see. From here, you're able to see, the, you enjoy the, the beautiful compound that we have, plus the greens. The leafy suburbs of Lovington can be enjoyed from the balcony. Nancy, let's see the kitchen. 
welcome to our kitchen. All our kitchen are open plan American kitchen with beautiful uh, marble, granite marble top. Yes, as you can see, we have a very large space for six banner. Yeah, you see some of the developers don't take, take this into consideration. We have enough storage space as well as enough of fridge. Yeah, we have water. And also we have enough fridge, fridge space, whether you have the, the bigger fridge or this size, you have options to do so. Yeah, we also have a very spacious pantry, as you can see, with enough storage here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is our Adobe area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see it's very spacious. Our washing machine sits here. Then from the laundry, we have a space here, which you can use as your guest wing, a servant quarter, or even a study area. Yeah, because we have wardrobes to provide for those facilities. As well as a toilet here. Yeah, yeah as, as well as a toilet and a shower. So something special about this room is that we have two accesses. Yeah? You can access through the laundry as well as um, directly from the staircase or lifts. Yes. Nancy, let me show you the bedrooms. Right from the dining, the bedroom swing starts with the clo visitor's clock room. Yeah, this your, vis your visitors can use. Yeah. And you have a lot of water. Yes, well, we have water provided by uh, Council Water. And besides that, we have our borehole water. Besides that, we have overhead tanks. This is our first bedroom. As you can see, it is very spacious and we have enough storage here. I like the waters. I think I like the color. Yeah, it's nice. Eh? Let us see our second bedroom. Welcome. This is our second bedroom. As you can see, it's also very spacious. Yeah. Very yeah we, Again, you have beautiful wardrobes. Yeah, very beautiful with the, a mirror, an extensive mirror. Also, we have a very large window here that provides light during the day. Uh, also, uh, we have overhead light as well as wall brackets here. Yeah. This is the common bathroom that serves the two bedrooms. Yes, yeah, so you can see we have a, a toilet here, a high quality toilet, plus a very beautiful sink here as well as a shower cubicle. Now let us see our last bedroom, which, is, which also serves as our master. This is our master bedroom. Yeah, as you can see, it's very spacious. We are providing space. We are not mean, yeah? So as you can see, our master is very special. Yeah, up here, you can see down lighters uh, with this uh, gypsum ceiling. Then we have walking wardrobes, as you can see, on both sides. Huh? Yeah. He's in hands. Yeah. I can actually open the down one and then open that one. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and you can see. Yeah, we have the, the bathroom section. Yeah. The master bedroom has a power jacuzzi. As you can see this, yeah, yeah. So we also have cubicle here, shower cubicle for those who want to uh, take a quick shower, with a very a very nice uh, sink, good storage, and high quality toilet. Yeah. Very impressive. Thank you. There's something special about our water here. Yeah, we have solar water heaters, so householders will spend no electricity at all. Asante Sana, this is a very impressive development. Thank you, Nancy, and welcome. Asante Sana. Don't go away, we'll be right back with much more. The development is approximately 15 minutes from the city center. It is conveniently located with close proximity to social amenities such as the Junction, Lovington Green Shopping Center, and Valley Arcade. Hospitals close by include Gertrude's Hospitals and schools such as Brayburn, St. George's Primary and Secondary Schools are also nearby. The rental rates are from 
for the two bedroom unfurnished apartment the rent is 90000 kenya shillings per month and if furnished the rent is 140000 kenya shillings per month for the three bedroom unfurnished apartment the rent is 100000 kenya shillings per month and if furnished the rent is 180000 kenya shillings per month for the three bedroom duplex unfurnished penthouse the rent is 200000 kenya shillings per month and if furnished 300000 kenya shillings per month for the four bedroom duplex unfurnished apartment the rent is 220000 kenya shillings per month and if furnished the rent is 320000 kenya shillings per month for details on these and other properties available in the market visit our offices Do you know the state of the real estate market in Kenya today? The Kenya Association of Investment Groups recently held a forum for their members, engaging various stakeholders within the industry. Let's hear their views. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very interesting day, and uh, we are happy to have the panelists. Uh, the state of real estate in Kenya. It's a very important question and it's one of the questions that everybody wants to know. Where are we in the real estate sector today? My first question, I will be throwing it to the panelists. In the, in the 2013 World Bank real estate rankings, Kenya was ranked among the fastest growing countries and offering the highest rate of investment return to investors. My question is, what is the what is the driving growth in the sector? Why are we seeing this kind of growth? I'll start off with VG. Uh, thank you very much, Nancy. Um, there are a myriad of reasons why we the growth of the real estate. Um, one is the growing population. Uh, Kenya estimated at about annual increase of two point something percent. So that is one of the reasons. Two is a young population. If you look at the population of people between the ages of 18 to 40, it's about 60% of the population in Kenya. That population is growing. Uh, the growth of real estate also is also because of the economic growth of the country as a whole, which is also then leading to an increase in the middle class. So we are, there's a growing middle class that is also demanding for real estate, the demanding better quality, better housing, uh, and those are, these are some of the factors. Most of us here have plots, and most of us here would like to get into real estate, but we find that mortgages in Kenya is very, very expensive. It's almost we've reached a bottleneck with the only mortgage, uh, we have about 22,000 mortgages in the country. What would you tell us? Where is the mortgage market going today? Let's not just say mortgages are expensive. Loans, in general, in Kenya are expensive. Unsecured loans are even more expensive. You want an unsecured loan, you pay 19, 20%. You want a micro loan, you pay even up to 40% on annum. So what are we doing? And I'll talk now specifically as housing finance and appreciating that there's several challenges that we all face in terms of getting a mortgage to either buy a plot develop a plot or buy a house. And one is raising the upfront costs, be it the deposit, the legal fees, stamp duty, and as we've read of late, there are even more charges coming down the road. And that's when we came up with our essential product, 105%. So that basically you don't have to save anything. You just have to have the ability to repay whatever loan amount you're taking at, at the interest rate uh, for 105 um, a percent. And with our growing and emerging middle class, which are the hotspots within the counties should we be looking out for? Just to, to give a point, I think you've got to look at each, each and every county and look at them in, in the individual capacity. You've got to see the drivers for development in various, uh, any even a country, a county, is when you look at the growth of services, the growth of manufacturing, the contribution of agriculture, mining. Those are the four sectors that drive economy. So when you look at um, 
let's say for example Trucano or uh, a place like Kitale, the growth of mining, the growth of agriculture will, if once you see there's going to be growing demand there, that means that's going to drive real estate. You've also got to look at infrastructure. Any county that will be located along where the special uh, the, the standard gauge railway is going to be built, there is going to be growth, especially where there are going to be various stations. Uh, when you look at Lapset, the Lamu corridor, there will be growth along those areas. And also another big growth in any county is where educational facilities are growing. If you look at any town now that has got a university, um, there is huge and phenomenal growth. What areas do you think the government and the private sector needs to do more to spur continued growth in the industry? Well, I think one of the biggest areas for growth in Kenya is in low-cost housing. Uh, nobody has really achieved uh, success in low-cost housing because of various problems, including infrastructure. The cost of infrastructure to develop this is very expensive. The interest rates, no facilities. There was a time about two years ago, there was a lot of talk that low-cost housing, people who did low-cost housing would get tax holidays, would get uh, VAT duty exemptions. A lot of things were happening, and we were very, very optimistic that this would happen. If that happened, I think it would really help the private developers to get on to low-cost housing. Then, of course, to, uh, <clears throat> to look for alternative building technologies which are cheaper and faster. We are here to talk to investment groups, and one of the things we know is that most of them are here to understand the state of real estate today. What ABC advice can you give an investment group that is willing to start the journey on real estate? One of the problems that is in the market is that when one person does apartments in Kelaleshwa and makes a lot of money, and uh, well, he's lucky, he's made it, and he's talked about it. Everybody wants to go and put three-bedroom flats in Kilaresh. Nobody thinks about two-bedroom or one-bedroom, or should we go to another area, or should we do something else? The next thing is you have so many apartments in one area which are either vacant or not selling. Now, that is the reason I think professional advice is very important, to not only see what's happening, but to see what could be happening. Because there are many things that could be done in real estate and if, if we just follow what other people are doing we're not breaking new barriers you know we're just doing exactly what's happening so i think professional advice is probably the, the big, biggest factor in real estate investment we have seen a lot of people come in trying to do big developments in kenya but somehow they are not succeeding Jeroge karibusana Jeroge is from home africa and he'll be telling us how come you are being able to succeed in that area that is being tried and people have not succeeded. The supply has begun to caught up with the demand. Um, so therefore, whereas probably three years ago you could rely uh, on funding your, your uh, project through uh, pre-sales, nowadays people want to see what you're giving them. Uh, pre-sales of homes, pre-sales of uh, empty plots where you just give somebody a so somebody, the, the development will be in this, in this forest <laughs> and just come and give us money. I think those days are, are close, it's really coming to an end. How to succeed, you must have access to capital, you must have partners, like some of the ones who are sitting up here on this panel. Uh, you must be very well structured, you must be extremely efficient, and you must know from A to Z how you're going to deliver the project. I think uh, for me that's the only way to, to do it. Uh, we've also seen that uh, today the the KRA is after the landlords. What effects should we expect in the property market? As an accountant, by the way, rental income has never been tax exempt. Rental income is business income. Um, landlords should have been paying their taxes. So I think it's actually the right thing to do. And one thing we should resist, but again, because of the supply demand or demand supply inequality, landlords may get away with it in the short term in terms of hiking their rents to incorporate the 30% tax. But trust me with time, and I visualize a time in Kenya when there'll be enough adequate supply of housing 
and then you'll see a shift or migration as people move, others moving into ownership, others moving into rental, and certain greedy landlords being left with empty um, properties. <laughs> Life insurance cover is very important. Orange Telcom, in partnership with CIC Insurance, has launched a device and life insurance cover that is a first in the market. And here are the highlights. Um, Orange Beaver is the new product that Orange has launched in the market. We are partnering with CIC to offer our customers an insurance to either insure the device or get a life cover. Both uh, services can be accessed via short code star 242. For the device plus life cover, you have to go to our shops and purchase a device and select a device cover. Then that your initial subscription has to be paid at the shop. For the life cover, you, you can access it via dialing a short code star 242 at the comfort of your home. Under device and life cover, we have three premium options based on the value of the device a low, low range, mid range and high range. We have silver which covers the, the low, device, low end devices. We have the gold which covers the mid range and the platinum high range devices. Uh, for the silver we have a, a premium that goes for 365 per year and for the mid range we have 1000 that's for gold we have 1000 per year and for platinum we have 2000 shillings per year. Under life cover we have three options Diamond, Platinum and Infinity. Diamond is the lowest you can get which goes for 15,000 shillings. Uh, for Platinum we have 17,000, you get 75,000, you get covered for 75. And then Infinity you get covered up to 100,000 shillings. The payment is done via your airtime deduction. So once you subscribe, you register to the service and pick your option whether daily, weekly or monthly, you'll be deducted from your airtime. The premium plans are very flexible, so if you feel maybe you selected daily and you feel the frequency is too much, you can pick weekly. If you feel weekly again is a bit too frequent, you can go to monthly. And this can be changed using the USSD code, the STAR 242. For the claims process, you, that is for a stolen device, you'll have to come to our orange shop with a police abstract and an identification document and then at the shop you'll fill out a claims form. This will be captured in our systems and sent to CAC. CAC, once they get the, the, they get the claim form, they will notify you that they have received your claims document. Then after that our orange shop will contact you saying that your claims has been processed and it's been paid so you come and pick any device from our, from our shop or you can top up and get a better device. Uh, for the device it covers against theft, damage, or damage beyond warranty, uh, mostly those two. For the life cover, you can register up to two beneficiaries, and there your life cover will be split evenly between the two. For the device plus life, you're covered up to two years. Then after that, uh, the life cover, the value of the life cover will, go, will increase. Uh, this is because, you know, a device will depreciate in value. For life cover, you know, it's up to the based on the natural death or accidental death of the insurer. A person can unsubscribe to the service by, again, accessing the short code star 242, hash and, and yeah, selecting that option. The benefits of Orange Vima are that you get to get a device cover that comes with a life cover on top of that. And then you get to pay your premiums for as low as one shilling a day. And then um, you also get to register for this service at the comfort of your home, so you don't have to go through the fuss of paperwork. And lastly, uh, you get to pay for your premiums using airtime, so you don't need to go to, you, I don't know, go to an agent with uh, mobile money. So it's just luxury deductions from your airtime. And so viewers out there, I encourage you to register to this service. And if you're not an Orange subscriber, it's the best time to join our network. Recovery changes with Orange. See you after the break. Still ahead, our more comprehensive property gallery 
which highlights properties for sale to let and plots ideal for both commercial and residential developments. Let's see what is lined up for us today. Nation Center is located along Kimadi Street in Nairobi. This unique, critically acclaimed design commercial building houses 14,400 square meters of office space as well as three levels of basement parking. The space available is 2,700 square feet. Siokimau Star Estate are fully serviced prime residential and commercial plots located three and a half kilometers off Mombasa Road. The size per plot is 50 by 100 and they are easily accessed through Beijing Road. The area is fully developed with several other upcoming residential and commercial properties. Prices for these prime plots are 1.595 million Kenya shillings for the residential plots and 2.195 million Kenya shillings for the commercial plots. Isinya Kipeto Scheme plots are in a serene location 7 kilometers from Isinya town, approximately 300 meters off pipeline. These plots are serviced and easily accessible. The size per plot is 50 by 100 and they are ideal for both residential and commercial developments. Prices for these prime plots are 595,000 Kenya shillings for the residential plots and 895,000 Kenya shillings for the commercial plots. Adi River Plots Located 6 kilometers off Mombasa Road along Mutungoni Road, these residential plots are completely serviced with the neighboring plots already developed. The size per plot is 50 by 100 and they are going for 1 million Kenya shillings. Flame Tree Park is a gated community development in Thika. The project is in the fourth and final phase. The property consists of three bedroom apartments and each unit is cozy and boasts of high quality finishes with modern fittings making it ideal for families and investors. The three bedroom apartments have high quality features such as lounge come living room area, a master and suit, large bedrooms with bay windows, built-in wardrobes, two bathrooms, open-plan American-style kitchen with granite countertops and ample cabinets, a washing area, a separate self-contained guest unit, modern ceramic and PVC tiles, built-in ports for local and DSTV connectivity, landscaped gardens, cabro paving, green areas, ample parking, perimeter wall with electric fence, street lighting and rainwater harvesting. For this prime property, the price is 5.25 million Kenya shillings. For anyone willing to purchase the property for investment, the current rent rates are 25,000 Kenya shillings per month. Don't miss out on this great investment opportunity. Oyster Village is located in Donholm, 10 kilometers from Nairobi city center. This development consists of a selection of two bedroom and three bedroom apartments, three bedroom and four bedroom missionettes. Oyster Village offers spacious lounge, open plan kitchen, balconies, master bedroom ensuite with a bathtub, ceramic tiled bathrooms, branded sanitary ware, high quality finishes, dobe area, commercial center with fully equipped gym, shops, clinic and pharmacy, one kilometer of jogging track, green and designated outdoor activity areas, biogas backup generator, state-of-the-art biometric security system, solar water heating, elevators for the apartment blocks, ample parking, cabra paved roads, and solar street lighting. Their units range in price from 6 to 12 million Kenya shillings. And for anyone willing to purchase the property for investment, the rental income is from 40,000 Kenya shillings per month. Bandari Apartments is a gated community within the quiet neighborhood of Bellevue South Sea. Each unit is a three-bedroom apartment with a servant's quarter. The apartments are of great quality which offer a lounge and dining with a balcony, ensuite master bedroom, two bedrooms sharing a shower and toilet, a kitchen with a yard, domestic staff quarters with own shower and toilet and independent access. Bandari Apartments have common parking, children playgrounds and landscape lawns to enhance communal and social living. For this prime property, the price is 
11 million Kenya shillings. For anyone willing to purchase the property for investment, the current rent rates are 45,000 Kenya shillings per month. Sunshine Court is located in 100 Avenue Valley Arcade. This development comprises of three, four and six bedroom penthouse apartments, all in suit with a DSQ. The location is prime, secure and enjoys easy proximity to social, medical, religious and educational facilities. Additional amenities include anti-seismic concrete frame construction, CCTV cameras, stone wall with electric fence, elevator, parking allocation for two and well-maintained gardens. The rental rates are from 120,000 Kenya shillings per month for the three-bedroom apartment, 140,000 Kenya shillings per month for the four-bedroom apartment, and 350,000 Kenya shillings per month for the six-bedroom duplex penthouse. A great investment opportunity in Laikipia County, Mayan is an upcoming exclusive development located within the cosmopolitan town of Nanyuki, consisting of exquisite pool villas with majestic views of the Mount Kenya and Loldaiga Hills. The property is situated 5 kilometers off the Nanyuki Doldol Road, 20 kilometers north of Nanyuki Town, where one can find all the major banks and shopping amenities. The development seeks to create a high-quality, fully serviced environment with a range of activities intended to attract visitors all year round. Each compound will have a swimming pool, a children's play area, an outdoor barbecue garden, and well-manicured lawns. There will be a central common parking with pathways leading up to the villas, accessible either on foot or using golfing carts provided by the management company. There will be ample green spaces to be enjoyed by the residents. The Falcon Heights Management Company shall establish a Falcon Heights Hotel Mayan designed to offer high-quality hospitality services to residents and visitors. Owners have the option of turning in their villas to be managed by Falcon Heights Management Company. The residents will enjoy water parks, nature trails, and a sports center offering basketball, tennis, and a spa. There will also be a chapel that shall be used by residents as well as visitors. The site will have a two-acre training and event square that can host weddings, social and corporate functions, camping, outdoor training and sports activities. There shall be a fully functioning farm employing responsible agricultural practices with the name of becoming an agro-tourism destination. The launch price for the pool villas is from 19 million Kenya shillings. For details on these and other properties available in the market, visit our offices. Are you looking to spruce up your home or even your project and are wondering where to begin? Today, Euro Ceramics will be introducing us to their collection of beautiful decorative tiles. Hi, Maria. Hi, Nancy. How are well, you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to Euro Ceramic, where we brought Europe to Kenya. Wow. Please welcome. I Asante. want to show you. Asante. And thank you. We are most welcome. So what do you have here? Oh, we have so many nice mm -hmm. things and I'm very happy that you're here and today we can talk and I can show you, take you around, introduce some of our beautiful Good. products Fantastic. that we have here. Let's start. Like here, we have some deco tiles that can be used for the wall and for the floor, for bathrooms, sitting rooms depends on the customer taste. Mm -hmm. This is now some borders mm -hmm. that can be combined with many other colors, even if you have tiles from outside or you just want to refresh a little bit your bathroom or sitting room, you can put some borders on top of that and already it look like new and nice. Yes. Don't need wow. to change everything. Uh, why did you think of bringing Euro Ceramics to Kenya? Okay, why? Because we know that there are so many shops selling tiles, but uh, we see that there is a space in the market for quality. And we know that uh, Kenyan people, they like and they love quality. They so like good things. They like good things, yeah, very good things. In the state of them, make them traveling outside in Europe and looking for something different, we decide to bring that different here. And they're very happy coming here. They say, wow, 
We want to help them to make every home different home. Wow. Not once you go to everybody, they look the same. Now they really can have a choice to look different and beautiful and lovely. Are these wall tiles? This is wall tiles with decoration. Mm -hmm. So you can... This would be ideal for what? This is very good for bathroom, let's say for the kids' bathroom. Okay. Because green is nu neutral color, mm -hmm. but if you want to put for the boys, we have in red. Oh, and you have it in orange? Orange. You have it in black? Actually, for every test. Fantastic. Do you have enough stocks? Yes, we do. We have enough stock for one house, for a small project, for a big project. Even if you want to start the estate, we always have a, enough stock to supply. This is also outside. This is an outdoor tile. Outdoor tiles. Mm -hmm. Very nice because they're also rough. And you can see they're heavy. I like the color. Yeah. What's the difference between your tiles and what we see in the market? Okay, the difference, we can start with the quality mm -hmm. and uh, long, this is long like uh, life tiles. Mm -hmm. Once you put them, uh, you they'll never break in the ends. Mm -hmm. You can see even they're very they're heavy. Very heavy yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The material it's that they make, uh, made, it's 100% uh, porcelain. Mm -hmm. Even here you can see it's really yes, porcelain yes. and made in Europe, mm -hmm. in Spain. Wow. Keros. Everything is original. This is lovely. Where would I use this one? This now, it's also decoration for the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And you need only one, one or two. One or two to do a line mm -hmm. or just mm -hmm. to mark the place. Or just to do it like that. Yeah, you can also put uh -huh. them Yes. Arrange them in this way. Mm -hmm. Later on, we have some uh, post, uh, we have some natural bathrooms, natural done that you can see the use of this one. Okay. Like how it's complete. So, do you help people to to design? Oh yes. My strength is to bring the design and to bring Europe to your to your house. Wow. To do the design. Uh, most of our customers they are coming here and taking our advice. We are, uh, then we are doing uh, for them 3D version before mm -hmm. they go to buy tiles yeah, to approve, they see themselves entering the bathroom with all the varieties, the customized bathrooms. Now this is also another flower that can give you a lot of range. That's and we beautiful. have in all these colors. Most, uh, the way you see we have here mm -hmm. more than 50 varieties. Mm -hmm. More than 50 varieties of bathroom. So you have a very wide range for the bathroom. Very wide range for the bathroom with that give you different tests to every person that somebody if I like flowers. yellow i'll find yes. yellow if i like red if you like flowers you can have flowers if you like uh, some uh, squares or rounds you can use the other ones now if you like now uh, more fancy fancy versace style then you can go for goldish and silver where is you see the goldish it's beautiful deco, it's, i love that yeah it's beautiful very, and then you also you can use only only one border. you can use the border alone. only the border alone mm -hmm. like here you can see these patterns goldish yes. patterns this is exactly for such a style yes and this style can be combined with beige with brown with goldish with everything and already gives different uh, view look. to your different look to your bathroom and even when you enter you feel different this is beautiful. Yeah, this now Ooh. Roman style. Uh -huh. If you want, uh, most people that are traveling to Europe, they've been to Rome or Athens, Greece. They like this Roman style because they see uh, this antique, antique rusty look. style. Yeah, uh -huh. then they are going for this. Wow, because this look really antique and look like uh, look marble as well. Yeah, this another. Uh, we have in many varieties in gray, beige, Cream. brownish. Yeah. yeah. So now we still have here the decos around. Mm -hmm. Now, and this is all the varieties for the floor tiles for the bathroom with the colors. I'll tell you my favorite pick for the outdoor is this. Yes, <laughs> you're right. And this, this is actually the most hot piece you pick it today. <laughs> Fantastic. Yes. Don't go away, we'll be right back. My favorite pick from Euro Ceramics is an outdoor tile. Thank you for watching The Property Show. 
We appreciate your continued feedback and welcome your suggestions on topics you would like us to address in our future shows. The Property Show is where you get noticed. Whether you're a developer with commercial, residential or leisure establishments or even a service provider and you'd like to get exposure across the country and beyond, this is the ideal platform for you. Stay connected with The Property Show, like us on Facebook, engage us on Twitter, drop us an email or visit our offices. See you next week for yet another a comprehensive episode. There's something for everyone. Thank you once again and kwaheri.